Picture this, a scorching desert, dry as a bone with zero water. Now imagine fish swimming around in it. Sounds ridiculous, right? Welcome to Xinjiang, China, where they're farming seafood in one of the driest places on earth. Yep, you heard that right, fish in a desert. You might be wondering, why would anyone farm fish in a desert? Well, strap in, because this place is doing the impossible. Xinjiang has turned its barren, sand-filled landscape into an unlikely aquaculture hub, and today, we're uncovering how they pulled it off. If you're already shaking your head in disbelief, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more jaw-dropping stories like this. Now let's dive in. All right, let's set the stage. Xinjiang, located in China's far northwest, is basically the land version of no man's land. It's home to the Taklamakan Desert, aka the Sea of Death. You might not have heard of it, but trust me, it's earned that name. This place is a dry, blistering wasteland where nothing should live, let alone fish. Oh, and let's not forget, it's landlocked. So if you're thinking, well, at least there's an ocean nearby for all those fish to swim in, think again. The nearest body of water that isn't a mirage is thousands of miles away. Yeah, no big deal. Just a minor setback if you're thinking of farming fish, but they're not letting geography hold them back. And when I say it's dry, I mean it. Xinjiang gets very little rainfall, and what it does get evaporates faster than you can say global warming. The region is basically the poster child for desertification, and yet, here we are, turning sand into seafood. Doesn't exactly sound like the perfect spot for an aquarium, right? Now imagine this. It's the heart of the Taklamakan Desert, and someone says, you know what? Let's throw some fish into the mix. And that's exactly what happened. 100,000 fish fry, everything from sea bream to mud skippers, were released into these man-made ponds, smack dab in the middle of all that sand. I mean, if you're not wondering how this went down, I don't know what to tell you. Guess what? They didn't just survive, they thrived. Who knew fish were so adaptable? With a 99% survival rate, these little guys took to their new desert homes like they were born to swim in saline ponds under a sun that could fry an egg in five minutes. They quickly adapted, proving that fish are a lot more resilient than we give them credit for. Fast forward to today, and these once unimaginable fish farms have spread across the region. Xinjiang now has massive fish farming operations in desert basins and lakes, producing tons of seafood every year. You wouldn't think fish farms could make a living in a place that looks like the set of a post-apocalyptic movie, but here we are. So, how did they pull this off? Well, the desert isn't exactly known for its hospitable weather. We're talking extreme temperatures, sandstorms that make you question your life choices, and the occasional heat wave that could turn the ponds into boiling soup. But don't worry, they've got it covered. Xinjiang isn't just farming fish, they've got the weather on lockdown. Thanks to high-tech weather forecasting, they know exactly when a sandstorm is coming, which is pretty much the equivalent of having a cheat code for nature. The region's meteorological bureau has set up an advanced network that gives farmers 48-hour forecasts. This lets them prepare for potential sandstorms, extreme heat, and all those other lovely weather conditions that make living in a desert so charming. So instead of waiting for a dust cloud to bury everything, they know exactly when to batten down the hatches. And let's talk temperature control. We all know fish like it cool, but the desert, not so much. The temperature swings here can make you feel like you're in an oven one minute and a freezer the next. So how do you keep fish happy in that? With some seriously smart tech, of course, they built systems to keep the water temperature steady. No more melting ponds or frozen fish, just perfectly controlled conditions for healthy, happy seafood. All right. Here's where it gets even more mind-boggling. You know how we've been talking about fish farming in a desert? Well, they didn't just plop fish into any old pond. They took saline alkaline water, basically salty water that nobody thought was good for anything, and turned it into the perfect environment for farming sea fish. You know, water that's so salty it would make your oceanfront property feel like a kiddie pool. It's like trying to grow flowers in a concrete parking lot, and somehow, they're doing it. Here's the twist. They didn't just hope the fish would adapt to the saline water. No, they went full mad scientist. They found that by adding a few trace elements, like calcium, magnesium, and potassium, they could turn this salty water into something resembling ocean water. And voila, they created artificial seawater. I'm not saying they invented a new ocean, but yeah, kinda. It's like turning a desert into a beachfront resort for fish. 
Thanks to this breakthrough, they've been able to create a variety of farming systems for different species, from tilapia to shrimp. And all of this is happening in the middle of a desert. Let that sink in. Who thought you'd ever hear about shrimp thriving in the Taklamakan Desert? Well, guess what? They're living their best life now. Now, let's talk money. You didn't think all this fish farming was just for fun, right? This isn't some experimental science project, it's an economic game changer. In 2016, the average income of fishermen in Xinjiang was around 16,600 yuan, about $2,300. That's more than $800 higher than what most farmers were making at the time. So, while farmers were still trying to figure out how to grow anything that wasn't a cactus, fishermen in the desert were doing all right. Who knew desert fishing could be more lucrative than, you know, traditional farming? And it's not just a fluke. This industry is growing faster than a fish's tail fin in a pond. In 2023, Xinjiang produced a whopping 184,000 tons of seafood worth $530 million. By 2025, the government is forecasting that this industry will be worth nearly $3 billion. I mean, if you told anyone 20 years ago that a desert would become an aquaculture powerhouse, they'd probably laugh. Well, laugh all you want. Those fish farmers are laughing all the way to the bank. Not only has this boosted the local economy, but it's creating jobs left and right. Thousands of people in Xinjiang are now working in fish farming, and it's not just about feeding the locals. Seafood from Xinjiang is now being exported to countries like Japan, Finland, and beyond. Yep, you can thank the Taklamakan Desert for those tasty shrimp you're munching on. All right, if you thought fish farming in a desert was wild enough, hold on to your pearls, because this place is now farming pearls too. Yes, pearls. In the middle of a desert, it's not enough that they're making shrimp and salmon thrive where they shouldn't. Now they've decided to create little nuggets of luxury in the sand. And guess what? The desert's unique climate, with those drastic temperature swings and tons of sunshine, turns out to be the perfect environment for growing pearls with a rich luster. Nature just handed them the ultimate plot twist. And get this, it's not just about throwing fish and oysters into the desert and hoping for the best. These farms are built on eco-friendly principles. The waste produced by the fish actually gets recycled and turned into nutrients for aquatic plants, which then help support the oysters. It's the ultimate recycling project. Fish make nutrients, oysters clean the water, and everyone's happy. A desert ecosystem that's as green as it can get. Who would have thought? Of course, these pearls aren't just staying local. Xinjiang's pearls are catching the eye of global markets, and investors are already planting the seeds for what's to come. By 2025, they'll start selling their first desert-grown pearls. Because why not? Pearls from a desert? That just makes them even more valuable, right? So, what's next for this desert-to-sea dream? Well, Xinjiang's not planning to stop with fish or pearls. Oh no, they're just getting started. The goal is to expand this aquaculture empire even further, with more species being introduced to the desert farms. Think bigger fish, more seafood variety, and probably even more bizarre farmed goods. You can only imagine what they'll try next. Maybe even some desert-grown lobsters? The possibilities are endless. And let's not forget the bigger picture. While the rest of the world is busy worrying about food security and supply chains, Xinjiang is over here creating its own little seafood haven. The goal is to make China more self-sufficient, reducing its dependence on seafood imports. It's like they're creating a sushi buffet in the middle of nowhere, the future of food security might just be found in the middle of a desert. Considering how rapidly this industry has grown, Xinjiang has some seriously bright prospects. With more investments coming in and global interest peaking, the region is poised to become a major player in the international seafood market. Who knew a desert could be so lucrative? So here's the bottom line. Xinjiang, a desert region once known for its sand dunes and scorching heat, is now home to thriving fish farms, pearl harvesting, and seafood exports. They've somehow turned a barren wasteland into an economic powerhouse for aquaculture. Who would have thought? With some high-tech weather forecasting, a touch of scientific ingenuity, and a little bit of desert magic, they've made the impossible possible. From salty ponds to succulent shrimp, the desert is full of surprises. If you're still trying to wrap your head around farming fish in the desert, join the club. But the reality is, 
Xinjiang is rewriting the rulebook on aquaculture, and it's not stopping anytime soon. This is one of those, you had to see it to believe it situations. And if you thought fish farming could only happen near the ocean, well, guess again. Desert seafood is here to stay. Who's hungry for some desert shrimp? All right, now that you know about the desert to sea miracle happening in Xinjiang, what do you think? Would you have ever guessed that fish and pearls would be the next big thing in the desert? Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Seriously, I want to hear what you think about farming seafood where no one thought it could be done.